What do we got? We have Prosecco. Oh, it's fancy. We got some bubbly. Okay. I got fancy glasses. I know. These, these are nice, right? These are, uh, I think they're Waterford. Waterfords. I think these are the Waterford like Millennium Toasting Flutes. Fancy. Wedding presents. So the West Coast office went to some fabulous event. At the stadium where the L.A. soccer team plays. The yes, MLS. I happen to notice our invite to that was... Uh, Lost in the mail? Detained. Detained. Well, <laughs> you know, we were invited, but we would have to cough up the airfare. So, anyway, it was a fabulous event hosted by Corbell. And the West Coast, being the West Coast, was kind enough to do a little schmoozing. And we got in touch with their PR folks. And they were kind enough to send us some bottles. They were. So they sent us a bottle of Prosecco, which is... It, well, it's Corbell Prosecco, but it's not made by Corbell, I don't think. Or maybe they own a vineyard in Italy. I don't know how they do it. But, but this is imported from Italy. And then we got two bottles of a Brut and a, and a Rosé Brut. We'll do those together. We'll do the Prosecco Let's on do this. We'll do all it right. first. So you want to read all the uh, sure. pop top and all that? Corbell Prosecco is produced and bottled entirely in the Prosecco DOC. DOC. Denominazione di origine controllata. Hey. I don't know if I got any of those words correctly, okay. but it's located in northeastern Italy. Uh, the Prosecco Zone, it sounds like a fun place, the Prosecco Zone. The Prosecco, the Prosecco zone. zone overlaps much of Italy's cool white wine growing regions, the Veneto and the Friuli, and is located close to the famous medieval city of Venice. Here along the hillsides right. and valleys, the Galera grapes thrive and provide local producers with the base wine from which Prosecco was made. Ready? Oh, 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 oh. There you hey, go. Hey, okay. A is that it? And a glug glug. Was that it? That's it. it. Tells you you can try this with uh, canapé, prosciutto, melon, chilled braised asparagus, Ooh. calamari fritters, and artisanal cheeses. Ooh, guess what? You know what I got? Stugatz. No, 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 no. Exactly. <laughs> Stugatz is right. Or you okay. can try it with some sushi, which again, I. Do you like a, that fried? Quite a wide, wide range of things. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, Prosecco's nice. I like it. I like it. We've had a few. We've reviewed a couple of Proseccos. Mm -hmm. And they've been pretty delicious. So let's see how this one is. Sir? Cheers. Chin tan. Chin chin. Ooh, it's like a bell. Oh, it is a bell. Well, it's real, it's real crystal. Yeah. Oh, it's got a light, sweet, bubbly nose. Light and fruity. Hmm. Going in? I'm going in. Okay. Oh, that's very nice. That's good. It's not it overly sweet. It is, no. No, it's, it's got. Juice. It's actually a little dry. No. It's actually a little bit but dry. It... With a little sweetness on the back. You know, a little, like, you know, citrusy and... But to me, the thing I like better about this than, say, champagne is the dryness doesn't get to be... Overpowering? That overpowering where yeah. that's the last note. Mm -hmm. Where with this, you still get the sweetness at the back. Yeah, it's a nice finish. Good. That is very like nice. Now, you know what we need? We need some prosciutto and melon. And maybe some artisanal cheeses. Maybe some canapés. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe some canapés. Maybe some canapés. I got nuts. You want nuts? I got nuts. How about some smoked whitefish? You're nuts. I got that. You're nuts. We got that. Well, that's good. I like that. Hmm. That is very nice. That is delicious. That's nice. Now, I don't drink enough of this stuff to say this is better than that, and that's better than this. But I haven't really had one that's been like, ooh, that was horrible. I think we've had enough of it to know that it tastes pretty good. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> and we know what we like, and we like that. I do. I so, like this no, I can't give it a letter grade, but if you're looking for something out of the ordinary, I think the Corbel Prosecco is just as good as any of the Prosecco you Do we say. know how much this costs per bottle? I do not. I, I could look it up. Corbel. Prosecco. Okay, so I'm looking this up. Come on, shopping. We're looking, we're looking. Yeah, that's not bad. Looks like it's around like uh, 14, 15 bucks, which is about, that's you know. That's not bad at all. That's about the going rate yeah. there for Prosecco. That's not bad at all. Because the nice thing with Prosecco is I think it still flies under the radar. You know, champagne's got that. Champagne? Mm -hmm. It's expensive. You know, whereas this, I think you can get a really good wine without breaking the bank. Yeah. 15 bucks is reasonable. And it's good. No, it is very good. It's good. We've taken a bottle of Prosecco, like there's a, the one fish restaurant that was in Haddonfield, now they moved to Morristown. And we've taken a bottle of Prosecco, and it, it goes really nice yeah. with like seafood and all kinds of stuff. And I, I'd rather have Prosecco at New Year's. Yeah, I like it. I like it. A little more uh, easier on the palate. Yes. So, yes. well, sir, cheers to you. Cheers. And cheers to Corbell for bringing in a very nice Prosecco. We like. We like. Mimosas? 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 I know. Negroni's Bagliatos. We'll do that. All right, we're going to have Negronis. <laughs> Ciao, folks.